Okay, everyone, so <clears throat> I'm on a job right now and I am having no bleach coming through the line. I'm having an issue here. Um, I have a feeling that it's uh, it's either this three-way ball valve or it's this injector. Now, injectors will always go bad at some point. I flush this thing religiously. Um, I do have three or four of them at home. I don't have any with me right now, so let's see if we can figure this out. I want to start by seeing if it's this ball valve and how we're going to do that is we're going to take this hose off the injector here and this is our bleach line I'm just gonna suck on it with my mouth I can see it pulling through the ball valve and there we go that's that disgusting taste of bleach <laughs> yum so next I don't want to take this whole thing apart but I do want to see what's going on with this injector here Let's get our wrench. Okay, break that free. Okay, here we got a little spring here. So let me take this spring out, set this somewhere safe. And it appears there's a, a ball in there. So what I'm gonna do, so how this works is obviously you put your hose here and it pulls bleach through. So not getting any suction here. So as you can see, there's a ball sitting down in here, which is obviously supposed to push up against that spring when uh, it's pulling. Hold on one second here. I have a handful of uh, pipe cleaners, or tip cleaners that I keep on the truck. So what I did there was I just pushed that tip uh, cleaner through here and I pushed that ball out of its seating there, out of its seal. Now let me suck on it again. Lots of airflow and I can feel that ball hitting my lips when I pull it. So <clears throat> I think that might have been the problem. Let's go ahead, we'll seat the spring back in here okay I'm gonna go too tight on it Okay, all right, let's see if that works. Our bleach is on here. Uh, you're gonna have to excuse the noise. I'm obviously right up against this, but we can't finish this test unless we start this. Okay, it's pulling bleach. Just watch it come through the line here. There we go. Okay, so in just a matter of minutes, I get off my truck without breaking my neck here. We're able to troubleshoot that. Um, we're ready to go. Let's go finish our job. Have tools, have a repair kit, have just a little bit. It's the first time I've ever had this problem. It's the first time I've ever done this. It's important to have some sort of understanding of your equipment. Um, that's why it's pretty important to go out and uh, start 
start your business on equipment that you build um, to some extent or at least understand if you go and get I don't know where this nut and screw came from if you just get equipment um, and you have no idea you're not mechanically inclined you don't play with it you don't put it together you don't get the wrong fittings and the right fittings um, you know these things can be a little troublesome it's obviously very easy but you know I have a little bit of understanding of how this injector works um, it's very important to understand your equipment or you could really get yourself in some trouble So I hope that helps somebody else if you're having trouble with your injector. Sometimes it can be a really easy fix um, Thanks for watching